hello guys welcome back in this video we will learn how to add pagination in and design table and how to fetch a paginated data from the server based on what user chooses from the pagination so let's get started i have an empty react js project that is using and design so as we will be adding the pagination in and design table component so let's go ahead and import the table from and design and use it in a div so table and add its uh, columns and the data source so columns is equal to columns we will declare these variables soon and data source is equal to data source right so for uh, this one we will be using fake rest api uh, this is free and online fake rest api tool so it gives us a uh, few apis for different uh, methods like get post etc so for pagination we can use this one so if we go to uh, this link so while it's loading we can go through here so it has it give it will give us the total passengers i mean total pages how many pages are there and in the data it gives us id name trips and other different information so we can use this uh, fake api to populate the table and add pagination in that right so this will be the link for uh, fetching this data so let's add few columns maybe we can say that uh, one column for id other one for name and the other one for, for tri number of trips maybe right so let's go ahead and declare columns columns is equal to we can say title is id and then data index is uh, data index is underscore id right let's copy it for the other columns and this one will be name and the data index is also name and this one we can say trips and the data index is trips right and for the data source let's add uh, state so that uh, when we fetch for different pages we update this state and uh, the table is regendered so we can say use state data source initially it is empty and let's import it Put from react so right now it is showing nothing so uh, it will be used it okay save it there you go the table is being shown it's showing the columns id name and tips we have declared here and because the data source is empty it is not showing anything so let's add a function for uh, fetching the records so we can say const fetch records and we can initially we can use the fetch and the url will be this one copy and there you go so it is api instant web tools and getting passengers for page 0 and page size 10 right so after then it will give us the response and let's convert this response to json and once it is it's converted we can maybe we can call it response and for now let's console it ok 
okay and we can call this fetch records uh, on the initial render so we can call it in the use effect so if you have not used these hooks i have uh, a separate video on these hooks as well i will add the links in the de description below so you can take a look so let's import it And here we can call it uh, get uh, what was that fetch records. Okay, and save it. And if we inspect in the console, here you go with the data. So it give us the total passengers and total pages and then in the data we are getting uh, 10 records all right so let's set that uh, in our data source so set data source to response dot data right let's remove this one and also uh, we we can take record of the total pages so that we can show the pagination so let's add another state for uh, total pages and we can say initially to be one and once the data is there we can set that set total pages to be uh, response dot this variable total pages right this key okay and let's save it right now you see that it is being loaded but uh, showing nothing so we can show uh, a loading indicator as well to give a better user experience so that we can declare another state we can call it loading initially to be false and when we are fetching it we can set loading to true and once we have fetched the record we can say set loading to false and on the table uh, we can ask that show the loading according to the uh, loading state right here you go show loading and then show let's hide it okay so refresh show loading and load it right right now showing the only one page and let's add the pagination and add the total uh, page size equal to maybe 10 is fine and you can see the total pages equal to the total pages I guess this is the state variable we declared yep total pages and save it here you see it has rendered all of the pages right so now let's move forward and on click of any of the page let's fetch the data uh, for that particular page right so for that let's click on change and it will give us uh, the page and uh, for that page we can say here inst uh, it is fetching for the page 0 so we can pass the page variable here and here uh, we can add a particular page so we can see whatever the page is passed in uh, as a param pass it to the this query parameter and it will fetch for that particular page the data right okay so here we can say whenever the, the page changes we fetch the records for that particular page right and initially we can say fetch for the page number one right save it okay so if i know go to different pages the data should be different you see it is suppose the id is ba 
next page 64 next page something different so id is changing you see i don't know the name and tips are changing uh, might be because this is a fake data so it might be the, the same but id is changing so we see that it is fetching the data for that different page right so this is how uh, we fetch data from server using a, a table pagination so also uh, we, we are using fetch here and if uh, we need to use maybe any third party like axios we can use that as well i have a separate video on the axios as well so i will add the link in the dis description below so if if you know you are not familiar with that you can uh, take a look on that from axios right so instead of fetch we can say that axios dot get the url is same uh, and then res but uh, it will it will give us the uh, already will give us the uh, the json so we can skip this one and this one and res it will be res dot data dot data and it will be res dot data dot total pages right save it refresh here you go same thing but now we are using uh, the axis so similarly you can use any third party uh, api integration library or tool so we can add the pagination all right so that's it on exploring the pagination and fetching data from the server uh, using and design table pagination so still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you